With the new ball player archetype system, it's like a marriage that you don't want to end because you know damn well you can't get anyone else in real life, so you might as well just stay in there regardless of what happens. But you have to find the most ideal marriage partner, and that is what I am here for. I will find you the most ideal archetype for your player build to take into Road to the Show, Diamond Dynasty, get it all the way to a Diamond archetype, and a 99 overall. So after spending about an hour or so, looking at each and every single archetype's base attributes and putting them onto an excel sheet and seeing each and every different skill set that they have i have come up with the best three archetypes for hitting one for contact one for power and then one for fielding the one for contact is going to be the slugging spark plug that is what you're going to want to equip and that's what you're going to want to go ahead and level the base attributes for this are pretty good you start off with 60 contact versus right and left 50 power versus right and left and then 40 clutch Clutch is once again important because whenever there are runners in scoring position, your clutch is your new contact. It does not go based off of a hitter's contact versus left or right. So it is important that you get equipment or you get perks that go ahead and increase your clutch. The 35 fielding, that's where equipment is going to save you as well as just playing role to the show and getting that attribute up within itself. And then the 50 arm strength is really good, especially if you are making this ball player at the catcher position or if you're making this ball player at the shortstop position which are ideally the two best positions to make ball players if you're taking them to diamond dynasty the only downside to this is going to be the speed at 30 it is not going to be the fastest in the world but with the proper equipment and perks it definitely can go 80 plus the second best archetype for a position player is going to be the power archetype and in particular you're gonna want to be using the skill set spark and slugger why because because let's go ahead and take a look at the attributes that are your base attributes. Now, I want you to keep in mind that these base attributes are completely different than what you just saw inside the contact archetype. Base attributes start at whatever level you see them at, dependent on your skill set, and then you are able to raise them 20 skill points through playing Roll to the Show, and then with equipment and perks, they could go even higher, but with the equipment, you won't see the attributes attribute changes inside of this screen instead you would have to go to an actual game to see the attribute changes with the perks you would see the attribute changes inside this screen and it most likely would tell you in parentheses plus whatever amount now when looking at these base attributes you see 56 contact against both sides 60 power against both sides and then 30 clutch 30 clutch from 40 clutch is a huge difference, especially with runners in scoring position, 30 fielding, 60 arm strength, and 30 speed. These are the only attributes I'm looking at, and it should be the only attributes that you really look at as well, because these are the only important ones that really translate well into not only Road to the Show, but also Diamond Dynasty. The reason why we have this at two, despite being so close with the contact and power, is because of the clutch. Clutch is going to be prioritized over everything else because if you ever have your cap hitting and there are runners in scoring position, you'd like a bigger PCI than a smaller one despite how much power your card has. Now, before we discuss the third best archetype, which is the fielding archetype and also the most versatile archetype, let me remind you to please hit that like button, rest, subscribe button, notification bell. Check out the description for the Twitch, the Discord, where we have our own MLB The Show community. Make sure you follow the social medias to stay updated. And if you want to support me financially by becoming a member, feel free to do so as well. All the links are inside the description. When looking at the fielding archetype, the best skill set that you can pick up is going to be the speedy slickster. Now, fielding archetypes are one of the most versatile archetypes in my opinion and this is what you will want to go ahead and get in particular if you are making a character or ball player i should say that you want to not only be able to play shortstop but let's say you want to take them out to center field or you want to just fill in whichever your team is the weakest at this would be the most versatile one so flat out contact and power starts off at a 40. the batting clutch starts off at a 35 then the fielding starts off at a 66 but the sacrifice you make is the arm strength, but you get better fielding animations off rip, especially with 66 reaction with a catcher, although 
You don't need fielding. You don't need reaction. All you really need is arm strength and then a bit of arm accuracy, being completely honest with you all. And then the speed at a 40 is also going to be very beneficial to you. Now, with this archetype, your perks are more than likely going to be specific to contact power and then arm strength. Everything else, you're just going to gradually go ahead and level it up through Road to the Show. For example, your fielding, you get 20 Road to the Show points. It goes all the way up to an 86. Six. your speed goes all the way up to 80 and then the contact and power against both sides goes to a maximum of 60 so then with equipment and perks you can get it much much higher in terms of pitching the best one is going to be velocity and there is nothing that comes close to it Filthy cheese is going to be the skill set that you want to work on. And the reasoning behind it is the most important attributes as a pitcher are going to be your hit per nine, your pitching clutch, and then velocity. Because you want to be able to blow that fastball past hitters. And you want your off-speed pitches to also be able to have some movement on them and give your opponent less time to react. So if you go ahead and select for your skill set, filthy cheese, what that allows your pitches to do is have additional break rather than painted cheese which gives you control but if you have pinpoint you should be a-okay now i would dive into the best break but it's basically cheesy filth anything that has cheesy in it regardless of whether you are using control or break that is going to be the best skill set for you unfortunately although you won't have such a high hit per nine and then your velocity won't be as high either the only thing that really changes in any of these archetypes that is competitive to filthy cheese is that cheesy painter meaning if you are a controlled cheesy pitcher you have a 50 pitching clutch which is a little bit higher but let's get to the good stuff the two-way player and to me the best two-way player that you can possibly build is going to be the cheesy spark plug and yes it's gonna basically go ahead and merge the two best archetypes that you can pick for the position player and the pitcher which is contact and velocity if we look at the attributes that this skill set brings you will see that in terms of the pitcher you get a 72 hit per nine which is the same as velocity 72 and you also receive a 30 pitching clutch so unfortunately that does drop off a little bit from the velocity pitcher only archetype looking at the hitting attributes although you get 56 contact against both sides add 20 to that once you max out your player that's going to be 26 you get 40 power against both sides so 60 once maxed out you get 35 batting clutch which is still ideal you get a little bit more fielding at a 45 a little bit more arm strength at a 40 or actually a little bit less arm strength than what a contact archetype would give you and then 45 speed so you're a little bit faster this would be the best two-way archetype for you to go ahead and pursue the second best two-way archetype that you would pursue and the only way i would recommend pursuing this archetype is if you have a ton of equipment especially diamond equipment or diamond perks that pertain specifically to let's say contact that way you can go ahead and build up your contact a little bit more easier but you get the same hit per nine you get the same velocity the only thing that truly decreases a little bit here is going to be your contact against both sides instead of 56 you start off with 40 but then again you get 54 power to start off your batting clutch is the same at a 35 and then the fielding is the same at a 45 another big difference is you start off with a little bit more arm strength but looking at the speed you start off with five less speed so once again let's do a recap the best ball player Player builds to go ahead and build are going to be at number one a contact archetype in particular the slug and spark plug you either want this player to be a catcher or you want him to be a shortstop middle infield basically number two is going to be the power archetype you want to be leveling up the spark and slugger one in particular and then last but not least it's going to be the speedy slickster those are the three best archetypes in order for precision players and then for pitchers it's exactly in order as well it's going to be velocity number one break number two control number three for a two-way player number one is going to be velocity and contact merge together and then number two is going to be where we're at right now which is velo and power if you did end up enjoying today's content please make sure to hit that like button or subscribe button notification bell check out the description for the twitch discord social medias as well as how to become a member have a blessed day and night stay positive stay safe stay blessed and i will catch you all in the next one Peace out.